Yo guys, what is up? It is Cohen here. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my eyes. Without further ado, let's talk to Drew Gulak. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. I know you've had some success here on SmackDown, but I have some constructive criticism if you're mature enough to handle it. I'd like to think I am. What is it? I found some holes in your game. Several, in fact. And if you don't repair those holes, they'll get bigger and bigger, and you'll never make it to the next level. Really? Yes, really. You can ignore what I'm saying and accept mediocrity, or you can take my advice, train hard, and better yourself. I don't know. What do you get out of all this? Other than the satisfaction of helping someone become the best version of themselves? Potentially a tag team partner. But only if you accept my help and address your weaknesses. I can make a slideshow if it'll help make this any clearer. I don't think that will be necessary. Okay, so what's your answer? Do you want my help? I want to be the best I can be. So let's do this. Great. I'm going to run you through an intense program of challenges that will pinpoint... Agree to disagree. No. Agree to agree. To fix this deficiency, I want you to go start a fight with Riddle and win. All right. Oh, damn, Riddle looks good. So I guess it's a backstage brawl with Riddle. Oh. Okay, yeah. I need to go to the next level, Drew Luck says, even though I'm the Intercontinental and Universal Champion. Come on, bruh. Woo! Down he goes. Can I pick up this cone? No. Pick up these chairs, though, surely. I might have to even put Riddle through the table. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, Riddle. The original bro. Let's go over here. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, howdy. What the hell? Down goes Riddle. Pick up this table again. Down. Oh. How do I set up the freaking the freaking table? Is it A? No, A. X, sorry. Okay. Down goes Riddle again. Can we put him through the table? I don't know where we're going to jump from, but we'll, we'll focus on that when we, um... What's the drag thing again? Ah. Drag. Oh, so you press circle. Okay. Grab. Dragging. Should drag. Oh, one. Okay. Easy. Then we should be able to just bring him over here. Oh, no. We can't put him on the table. Riddle said no. Oh. Come on, Riddle. You want to play? Oh, oh my goodness. That was straight to the head. My question is, why was Riddle just casually wandering back here? Ready for a fight. No shoes, no nothing. Yet, uh... You know. We were just, he was just back here with no worries. That is cool. The table's got a big crack in it. Even though, you know, we've just hit him with the table. That, I really like that, actually. I like that a lot. Can I jump off here? No. Shoot. Let's see if I can... No, <laughs> we're not jumping off there, bro. Maybe, though. Maybe we are. I don't know. Oh, what? Riddle's telling us to bring it. Okay, Riddle. Okay. Okay, Riddle. Ooh. You're gonna go again? Down we go. Hmm. Well, we just went through the table. <laughs> Down goes the riddle. Alright, let's just finish this, bro. And, ooh.
Riddle with a spade, what the hell? Oh. Again, you just just stop it, Riddle. You're not gonna be able to beat me, bro. You're never gonna beat me. Oh, hang on, I'll try to hit the famous art and again. Just not connecting at all. Why is it not famous? So there we go. That's what we want to see. And counter from Riddle there on the finisher. Not great. Counter again. Oh. Oh. That didn't look too nice. Ooh. Down goes Riddle. We need to... Riddle is stunned. I think we need to get some combos going on in them. Ooh, Riddle's busted open. Riddle is busted open, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Down we go, though. Can we go all the way through there? Is that a lot more of this backstage area? Counter the finisher. Damn, there's a lot, isn't there? A lot you can do. There's Eddie Guerrero's whip. And GTH. Not enough. Damn, I thought we had two finishers. Damn it. Have to hit a few combos. Super kick, still not enough. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? One more GT hates. That's got to be it. Got to be. There we go. Riddle is knocked out. Shout to Drew Gulak. I saw what you did against Riddle. Could have been worse. <laughs> I took down one of the toughest guys on the roster, and that's all you can say? It was a step in the right direction. But well, you have more leaks in your boat to repair if you want to be the best version of yourself. Okay, so what leak are we fixing next? I see holes in your submission game. Prove me wrong in a submission match. And I'll be out there watching in person, so no shortcuts. Because... Shortcuts are bad? No, we've been over this. If you take shortcuts, you get cut short. Now come on, start paying attention and don't let me down. <laughs> okay, Gulak. Submission match. All right, that might be a little bit difficult. And we've got Cesaro one-on-one -on -one in a submission match. This is going to be probably a bit of a challenge. Cesaro is, you know, he's Cesaro. What do you mean? Like, all right. Already on the way here, Cesaro. Already taking it to us, but we hit him with the knee. Springboard. Down goes Cesaro. We've got a roll here. But we've still got to damage his head so much and then get him to tap out. This is going to be tricky. Again, a counter. Cesaro down. Oh, counter. Counter again. Back and forth we go. Oh. Okay. Counter from Cesaro. Man, this is just a wrestling masterpiece. But that time, someone goes down. And thankfully, it's not me. Let's just beat him up here. Let's just keep doing the few of those on him to get his health on his head. It's already orange. While he's stunned. And now busted open. This shouldn't be too hard once we hit our... Uh, signature and finisher on him. Shouldn't be too hard. Famouser. Make sure we hit the GTH. Oh, counter from Cesaro on the finisher. Oh, no, it didn't register that I hit the finisher. That's because now's the finisher. Gotcha. GTH. What? 
How do you reverse? I thought you couldn't reverse when you were stunned. What? Oh, let's drag him here more to the center of the ring. Oh, let's put him down. Ah, oh, I can't hit my submission on him. Oh, Cesaro? Okay. Don't you know it's Cesaro? And a counter. Why does my freaking shin hurt every time I do that? Oh, here we go. Sleeper hold, baby. Cesaro was stunned. I just don't know if this is going to be enough. We'll try our best, though. Did we get him? We got him. He's out. He's out. Is that enough, Drew Gulak? Is that enough? Alright, let's talk to Gulak again. Nice win in the submission match last week. But when I was out there, I noticed you rely on reversals way too much. That's a hole in your game I didn't even know existed. You're turning out to be a bigger project than I thought. You're not giving up on me, are you? No, never. It's just going to take more work than anticipated. First, let's nip this reversal issue in the bud. In your next match, you're not allowed to use any reversals. What? Got it? Yep, and no shortcuts, because if you take shortcuts... There just might be hope for you after all. No reversals? What? <laughs> Rely on reversals too much? What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get hurt. Or hit. I hope the game just doesn't allow me to use reversals. Because out of habit, I'm going to want to reverse. It is against Dorado, so that could be more simple. Win the match without using reversals. So, I still don't know. I don't want to know what happens if I use a reversal. Hopefully, we can just do it without needing to. I'm just going to do what I can here spam as hard as I can just because if we can't use reverses we've really got to take um, advantage of him being down he's stunned so that's really good for us now really really good we already got our signature built up here nearly anyway Can Lindsay Dorado just not reverse or something? I don't know. This is yeah, just a battering. Oh no! Now how am I gonna how am I gonna get out of this? I literally can't reverse. Can I use the blocking whatever the thing it's called when they're in a grapple when you have you predict the right thing? I literally can't reverse. God damn it! This sucks. I think the only way is like a submission move. And then I counter that. And I could roll out of the ring, maybe. There we go. Oh, never mind. Inside the right up to the top. I don't know how I'm supposed to win this. I don't know how to, like, do anything. And... Oh! Ah, there we go. I was wondering about that. So what, what button did I actually just press? The kip up. Uses one of your little bars, but at least like you. Object, doesn't say. In the controls. Hmm. Payback. Well, it wasn't payback. Because my payback is uh, uh, resiliency anyway. Hmm. Dodging climb, maybe it was that? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, we got ourselves up at least.
And that kip up thing is sort of overpowered as well. You can just get up no matter what. If someone hits a move on you and they're still doing the animation, you just get up. It doesn't matter. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Famous stuff to Dorado. Now let's hit the GTH. Center of the ring, we will have him. Almost, not quite. Into the cover. No reversals. Easy win. Oh. Really, bro? Is this what we're doing? Really? I mean, I beat Cesaro this way, so I can beat you this way too, Dorado. Easy done. He's out. Progressing nicely with your training, but we still have more to fix. Okay. We Let's talked a lot about shortcuts, and one of the ultimate shortcuts in sports entertainment is top rope maneuvers. You might remember my presentations on the risks these moves involve and my support of the no-fly zone. Of course. How could I forget the NFZ? Abbreviations are verbal shortcuts. Oh, right. Sorry. So your next match will be contested under no fly zone rules for both you and your opponent. Let's see if your ground game can get the job done. So this match I'm not allowed to get on the top rope. That's that's very fine. I mean, oh shit, hang on. That's not what I want to do. I wonder what would happen if I actually tried to do it then. Oh. Okay. Down and goes Apollo. We can do one of these. Oh no, not that one. Not that one. One of these though. That's not the top row. What are you going to do? Down goes Apollo. This. Come on, man. Come on, Drew, really? I think you need the lessons. This is just rookie stuff right here. I mean, again, just like last match, if I'm too good, I won't even need a reversal. Because he's not even going to have a chance to even hit a move on me. Beating Apollo too many times as well. Like, come on, bro. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I figured out that thing now. It's L1 and R2. Oh, apparently you can do a possum pin. Which is... Uh, R and down on the D-pad. I want to try that later on. Just because I've never done it. Oh, there we go. There we go. One. Oh, he kicked out. Damn it. <laughs> uh, that's cool. And then your paybacks over two bars, but since I have resiliency, I don't really do that until I need it. And then your signatures are three bars. So that all makes sense now. A lot of things I forgot about the training or just didn't know. All cleared up. I think the instant recovery is a little bit overpowered on one bar. I can just keep using it all the time. It is what it is, though. Down we go. Apollo really thinks he's got control of this match. Little does he know. I'm going to win. Not very... Oh, okay. He's not doing it. Maybe he can't do top right moves either. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, my goodness. God damn it, bro. On to the turnbuckle we go. Apollo actually is dominating us a little bit. But... We are too good anyway. Oh, Apollo with a counter, though. 
I'm fairly sure Apollo just can't do top right moves either, no. So does that mean Dorado couldn't do reversals? God damn it, if that's true, I must have been pretty freaking bad. Went for a famous uh, Apollo Cruise with a reversal. Again, he just keeps trying to use that top rope, but he can't, it looks like. Poor guy. Alright, come on, let me out. Oh, I missed it. God damn it. Big power bomb there. God damn it, bro. Apollo really taking it to us here. Running power slam. Okay, Strowman. Okay, Strowman. God damn. Oh, okay. We back into this. Just like that. Can we hit the GTH? Done. Cover. One. Two. Oh, kick out at two. Alright. Do we put him into the sleeper? I'll put him in sleeper again. That's worked the last couple times, last couple matches. Will Apollo Crews tap out here? Way too simple, bro. Out he goes. Good night. Drew like that's got to be it, bro. Come on. I have some bad news. What? You failed the Drew Gulak training. What do you mean? I did everything you told me to do. I passed all your tests. Sorry, you just don't have what it takes. There were too many holes to fix and not enough time. I'll need to look elsewhere. No, I will not accept this. I'm light years better than I was when we started training together, <laughs> and you know it. Nah, bro. <laughs> we were just okay, as good as we were. Okay. You passed your final test. Good job. What? Huh? Your last weakness was perseverance, but you just refused to accept failure. You're now truly... Thanks. All right, now that the easy part is over, let's get to work. We have our first match teaming together <laughs> next week. If you apply everything you learn, we'll be holding Tag Team Gold in no time. Oh, so Go maybe we do win tag minutes, titles? Then we'll start breaking down... What the, I don't know what's going on, man. Are we facing... Who I... Th no, we're not. Riddle's had to come out, and then I probably come out. I thought we might have been facing RK, bro. Win by pinfall. Okay. I didn't ever choose to freaking change targets, man. Down we go. Down goes Apollo. Okay. We've beaten all these guys during this stupid ass soft training program. I think Drew Gulak's the one that we've got to, that's got something to prove to us. Speaking of Drew, I really want to play as Drew in this game. I haven't done that yet. I might have to do that. Have him win back the WWE title from Brock or some shit. No, no, no. We all know exactly what I'm going to do when that happens. Ooh. Okay. Throw it we go. And... Ooh, turns us inside out. He blocked it. But that doesn't matter because we take him down anyway. That did not look very nice down in Apollo's good parts. Oh. Now Apollo going to finally try and do his top rope move that he's been trying to do for so goddamn long. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, Apollo. Sorry, buddy. Got to do what I got to do, you know. Oh. Both going for something on each other there, but I'm the one that gets the better end of it. 
Let's do what we've been doing, Famouser. Hopefully he doesn't reverse this. He reversed it. God damn it. Down we go. Ooh, how did we not reverse that? I definitely hit that reversal, man. Come on. Quit playing with me. Down we go. I need to get Apollo back in the ring as soon as possible. Otherwise, we're going to lose all of that progress. Riddle and Apollo teaming up. That's so weird. Oh, I have to do something. <laughs> I was expecting a full animation. Alright, let's throw Riddle back over here. Let's get Apollo in. Let's put him in a sleeper. I've got a good feeling. Ah, uh, you're lucky you had the ropes. Oh no, Riddle would have broken it up anyway. I thought you might have stayed in the corner for a few minutes. Oh yeah. Oh. Come on, Apollo. What you doing? What you doing, huh? What you doing? Oh, I didn't want to do a Spanish fly. Alright, we'll just DDT Riddle in the ring. He's stunned. That's what we wanted. No, but Apollo's down now. No, I... Why am I... Oh, you can switch... Oh! You can switch characters. I didn't realise that. But I've ruined that for myself. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. Now I do. Ah, uh, but... Oh no, power bomb! I'm telling you now, Apollo. I, I just don't care. What I'm going to do is not that, because you were going to go over the rope, weren't you, Riddle? You naughty, naughty boy. You are a naughty, naughty boy. Now let's get Apollo back in. Thank you. I mean, we could try it, but it's probably just going to be. Oh no, he's going to reverse it. That's what it's going to be. Oh, is he going for the Germans? Okay, Lesnar. Damn, my boy think he Brock Lesnar or something. God damn. That was a combo. You shouldn't have been able to reverse that. We all know what's going to happen, Apollo. Stop tagging out. We all know once Riddle's in that corner, you okay. Let's say you can't resist, but here I am. You tagged back in. Oh, is this a submission? It is. If I can. That's very close, actually. I mean, if I do it now, yeah. If I can put Apollo in a sleeper. Oh, he counted. Damn it. That could have been over. The match could have been well over. Oh, I got to win by pinfall. Never mind. Okay. Blessing in disguise, as they say. Let's hit the GTH, wait for Riddle to get back to the apron. Pin Apollo. That should all be over. Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. I didn't know Riddle was still down. I didn't know. Let's go for the cover. I mean, if he doesn't kick out here, that's pretty great. Damn it. <laughs> wow. Now Drew will turn on me, won't he? Why have I got a feeling? Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, Drew Gulak. What are you thinking, buddy? Great. You want to shut the Universal title or something? Drew, you trained with your partner for weeks and finally teamed together tonight for the first time. But then, for some reason, you attacked him after the match. Can you explain why? I'd be happy to. 
You see, when we were training together, everything was so easy for him, okay? No matter what test or challenge I threw at him, he passed with flying colors. And the whole time, he had this attitude about it, almost like he was doing me the favor instead of the other way around. And then, when we finally teamed together, he just had to get the win, right? It was his way of trying to one-up me, because he thinks he's so great. Well, I've got news for him. He's not, and I'll prove it. Because he thought he passed all the tests, well, he didn't. I'm the final test, and this time, he's going to fail. So, you're challenging him to a match? Yes, but not just any match. I want to see if he actually learned anything. So I'm proposing a match with no shortcuts allowed, which means no running, no escaping the ring, and no top rope moves. Now we'll find out who's got holes in their game, and who doesn't. Put whatever restrictions you want on me, Drew, like it doesn't matter, I'll still beat you. Challenge accepted. Let's go. It's fast lane, okay. Are we getting close to a WrestleMania? I don't know. All of a sudden, it's fast lane. Uh, the only other pay per view we've fought at was I want to sell, I think. Get the big WrestleMania sign there. Alright, so we missed the rumble. That sucks. So we can't run, I think. I literally just went to sprint. Yeah, we literally can't sprint. He literally meant, literally meant no running. Okay. Maybe it's a WrestleMania match, is it? Against Drew Gulak. That'd be pretty anticlimactic. But, you know, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, I guess. Oh! No point blocking your, your uh, face there, bro. I was on the ropes, stunned. Okay, there we go. Bang! Knee to the gut off the suplex position. Woo! Kip up there. Big knee. Grapple him in the ring. Okay, I can do that. Here we go. The WrestleMania sign doesn't look quite right at the moment. Oh, there goes the ref. You're not going to beat me, are you, Gulak? Really? He's throwing me out of the ring. That's some sort of sign. Oh, shit. Not once, though, has he done anything illegal yet since the referee's been outside the ring. There we go. I'm not going to tap, am I? Yes. Go. That just seemed like a pointless cutscene, if you ask me. Uh, why haven't we had anything like that this whole time? That was completely out of place. 2k. Oh, goodness. Attempt to win under Gulak's rules. Okay. That's not really a worry for me. Because all I have to do from here is get him up. Punch. Super kick. Spanish fly cover that could be it. The feeling it's not. Yeah, kick out it too. All right, Drew Gulak. Like. like what you got, kid. I like what you got. The overuse of the fight forever chance is very frustrating. Trying to pull my arm out of my socket is Gulak. Gulak would have been a better partner, I think, for JPS. They're both tosses. <laughs> Nakamura's a good bloke. Ah, we got the ropes somehow there. Ah, 
Okay. See if we can put him away with one of these. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, but you never know. Nah, classic 2K. Hey, let's get you get very close and then just say, nope. There we go. GTH time. I reckon that's it. Cover. On Gulak. One, two, three. And that is that story complete. Well, uh, I'm going to thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to smash the like button. Make sure you stay tuned for all sorts of 2K22 content coming soon. I love you all very much. And of course, I'll see you guys all later.